Kutka area, we call it as some emission control area. So we are going to enter uh, US waters. So US waters, uh, basically we cannot uh, go with normal sulfur uh, fuel. So we have to change over to low sulfur fuel oil. So for the changing over uh, low sulfur, we need to follow some kind of procedures. So before entering uh, Sika area, Fritz will be giving you some 24 hour notice. So one day notice they will give you. So that uh, the idea is you can uh, prepare whatever you want. So once they give uh, the notice, we have to enter in our logbook. It is uh, 24 hour notice received at 2200 hours. Ika entry. So this will be recorded in the uh, engine room logbook and this will be recorded in our bridge logbook. So both the logbook will be recorded at what time they give the notice. So first thing is we get the notice. So once we get the notice, usually we need to keep it in mind like uh, at what the speed we are going to do the changeover. Suppose we go at full speed, we cannot do the changeover at uh, full speed. We need to reduce the RPM. So, how we need to calculate at what uh, RPM, how much fuel oil we are uh, consuming. So, accordingly, we can calculate the timing that needed to complete changeover of uh, your fuel oil. So, for uh, doing this calculation, we use uh, MOBA's calculator. So that I will show you later. So, for changing over, basically, for changing over, once you reduce the speed, like if we go on 70 RPM, we can come down to 55 RPM. So that uh, at 55 RPM, we close all the steam. All the steam, not yeah. all steam. For the fuel oil heater, filters, and what else? for uh, heaters, uh, tracing line and uh, jet filters and your line tracing steam wires. So the main thing that you need to know is where is the valve and what are all the valves we are closing that we have to mark it out so that when we want to put back in normal we can attack the same valve which we closed. So once that is closed you have to wait for the temperature of the fuel oil to come down. So we'll say now the Injection temperature is there. How much is the injection temperature? 112. 115. 115. So once you reduce the temperature, like uh, close the steam and everything, your temperature of the fuel oil should uh, come down. Like it should come down less than uh, 95. 95 is about uh, service tank temperature. So what we do is uh, we cannot bring down the fuel oil temperature less than 95 because your uh, purifier is running you cannot go less than that. So once you reach 95, then you can close the low sulfur fuel oil. Before closing the low sulfur fuel oil, you have to open the diesel oil valve first. Once that is opened, you can close the low sulfur fuel oil valve. So at the time you open your diesel oil valve, you take the counters. And at the time you take the counters, you need to take the position of where you are going to commence your uh, change over. So, your uh, timing you will get from Phobos calculator that I will show you. So, once uh, you get that time, the entire time you can go along with the same RPM which you decided to change over. So, that we can have a account like how much we are uh, consuming that is oil. So, once we are done, once we are uh, completely change over, how you can know that it is stage over? So the diesel oil temperature will come to normal now. Uh, when 
inlet engine reaches your diesel oil temperature, that means your uh, line is completely blessed with diesel oil. You can see the temperature from your uh, uh, monitor, you can get it, we can get it locally. And before that, you will get the fuel oil low temperature alarm, your viscosity will go high, all those alarms will come. These are all the indications that uh, your diesel oil is getting mixed with your fuel oil. So, once that is done, that means your changeover is completely done. So, once you achieve that uh, required hours, then you have to take the finishing counter. That means for end of that uh, changeover. So again, take the counter and uh, take the position from bridge and inform bridge. So, both the logbook should match whatever you write here, it should be replicated in the bridge. So, all this thing we have to do. Anything else I missed out? Nothing, huh? Okay, so this is how uh, first we have to ensure at what speed we are going to change over. This is for main engine, what speed we are going to change over and uh, reduce the speed before one hour. We will be getting a 24 hour notice for ECA entry. So you, according to your COBAS calculator, you reduce the speed before one hour of changing over to diesel oil. So once that is done, close all the steam, so temperature will come down. When the temperature comes down to service temperature, change over to diesel oil. Change over to diesel oil, take counter, take position. Once the uh, inlet temperature for uh, main engine is to the diesel oil temperature, then that means your system is full of diesel oil. So again, with end, end time, you have to take uh, flow meter, position and everything. That's all. We are done with change over of uh, fuel oil from LS. So, I do now the robust calculator. Okay, anyway, good. Thank you. The robust calculator page. Open it. And uh, this is how uh, it comes. So, this is a calculator that shows how much hours needed for a complete changeover of fuel oil. So, this is for main engine. So, I decided to change over uh, to diesel oil at 55 rpm. So, 55 rpm, I already took the calculation. So, 55 rpm, I take uh, engine consume 2.1 ton per hour. So, this is where I have to type the quantity per hour at that rpm. So, I type 2.1. So, okay. So, what is the current sulfur? Sulfur content is 0.49. So, I write 0.49. And what is my LSMGO sulfur content is 0 0.070 and that's all. So now it gives a value of 4.10 hours. So that means I need 4 hour 10 minutes for a complete changeover of diesel oil for main engine. And the same thing we do for boiler. Boiler also same per, per hour it is taking 0.12 and sulfur consumption the sulfur is 0.49 and lsmgo figure is 0 0.070 and it takes around 4.3 hours for changeover and again for uh, generator it takes 0 0.40 ton per hour and 0 0.49 sulfur content and lsmgo is 0 0.07 and it takes 7 hour 20 minutes for complete changeover. So, this is the Obas calculator. This is how we take the time, how much we need, how much time we need to do the changeover. So, this is how we do. Uh, anyway, I will show where what are the things that we do while uh, we are doing the changeover. Now, we will close all the steam valves and everything. Okay. Now you can uh, see the temperatures of uh, generators, fuel oil temperature, you can see it is 101.1 and uh, the other for the other generator 102.9 and then when you see for the main engine, you can see the fuel oil inlet temperature, it should be around 106.9. So this is the fuel oil temperature before we commence the changeover. 
so again uh, you can have a look on the generator fuel oil temperature it is around uh, 102 and 101 main engine is 106 now i am opening the diesel oil inlet valve for uh, main engine and i have to close the hfo inlet valve for main engine this is the service line so i had closed the hfo service line for main engine so once uh, i close the sorry this is for generator and once i closed the hfo i need to take the counter for uh, fuel oil counter for ae and the same thing i have to do for main engine also so i have changed over for ae and next uh, i am doing for main engine first i open the diesel oil valve and then i close the heavy fuel oil valve we can see a blue color indication is kept on the valve this is for easy identification of uh, valve so that you don't get confused when uh, resuming the system back to service so both are done change over done only the inlet valve we need to open huh? so now we have to write the flow meter for main engine main engine flow meter i write and keep so change over begin at what time the change over begins that counter i need to take and the position i need to get it from bridge this is a revolution counter so after changing over uh the fuel oil you can see the temperature of uh, main engine is 48 that is coming down earlier it is 112 something now it is 48 and for uh, generator you can see it is 48.3 47.3 so that means uh, the system is now full of diesel oil so once uh, we are done like uh, I made a as per Bobo's calculation I have to take uh, counter at 2048 I started 1330 I finished at 2048 as per Bobo's so I take the counter so for main engine also 2042 and for, uh, for uh, boiler it is 1824 so I took all the counters so this is main engine uh, beginning counter and uh, ending counter generator beginning counter ending and boiler beginning and ending for all this i have to take the position at what time i took what position i do the change over so once this is done i will get the position for the finishing so once this is done i have to